for a little while now on my Facebook page and mind you just like YouTube I ask people who do not like their religious spiritual beliefs to be questioned you're so emotional I would ask you to uh, no hard feelings I ask you to leave my channel I wish for you to defriend me from your Facebook friend list but just like YouTube there are those on Facebook who I've told them I question religion and I question spirituality and for some reason I don't know what it is maybe they believe they can convert me to belief in God or belief in the spiritual world or, or whatever and they choose to stay they choose to continue to have me as a Facebook friend they subscribe to the Realities Temple which is good I thank you so much but there are those who are emotional and if you are emotional and you don't like your belief system to be questioned you don't like the conclusions and, and observations of others not about you as a person but these beliefs that most of you cannot prove you just believe I am not going to believe I'm not going to accept that until you can show clear convincing and overwhelming evidence that what you're talking about is real and if it's real there's no need to believe it's real the question that I would like to raise in these few minutes is many people talk about a spiritual realm where the spirits hang out I guess this is flesh and once this flesh we leave this flesh we become a spirit and we go we transition into another form of energy spiritual realm or whatever let's deal with two questions here hold on a second <clears throat> hold on a second want to deal with two two questions here one claim is that energy we're nothing but energy conscious energy and we don't die well here we are we have a cigarette lighter that's energy it's fire oops what happened to it you say energy does not die 
What happened to it? What where the the flame, which is energy, died. So what happened? It, you say it doesn't it doesn't die. In order to have energy, you must have a fuel source. There's a liquid inside this this lighter. Once the fuel is used up, there's no more fire. But as long as there's some fuel, you get energy. If energy does not die, why do you throw the lighter away? Where does I mean what I mean so where does it transfer to? And then you say it's conscious. Speak to me. Hey fire, how you doing today? I'm doing just fine, thank you. <laughs> it does not talk. It has no conscious. The fire. It's energy. In order to have conscience, you must have some type of artificial intelligence. You must have a brain to give you conscience. So if you're in the boxing ring and they knock you out, they say that you are unconscious because your brain is offline. You're still breathing. Your heart is still beating. But you don't know what the hell is happening because your brain is offline. You've been knocked out. You have no conscience. They give you some smelling salts. <laughs> He's coming back to Conscious brain starting to function, starting to come back online. So let's say you do not come back online and your brain dies, and now you are considered dead. So your flesh dies, and you now become conscious energy a spirit and now we enter the spiritual realm we're conscious energy energy has to have a fuel source my question is how do these spirits function do spirits breathe, breathe in air? What is the spirit made out of? How does it function? How does it think? That's my question. And so far, nobody has even attempted to tell me how does the spirit work? If you do not know how the spirit work, how can you tell me that it exists? I told a person that your conscious, your soul is simply your brain. And they told me they had a relative that was declared brain dead. But they still had consciousness. So this means that the brain is not your and my conscious. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who study death and dying, you know that the body, even after the brain dies, you can take a light, shine it toward the eyes, and the eyes will still might follow follow the light 
your body will still react to stimuli. Stimuli is not conscious. If your brain dies and that person can write a book, make a telephone call, and do things that conscious people can do, you got me. But the body jumps, it can still react even after the brain dies. Because the body, even though the brain is dead, the body itself is still functioning and the nerves and certain certain nerves in our in our bodies will still react to stimuli. Stimuli, stimulation is not conscious. Conscious is the ability to be conscious that you are alive. Conscious of other people. Your relative did after the brain was dead did not get up, "Hey, how you doing? What's up, doc?" That's not that didn't happen. The body still can react to stimulation. React to light. React to sound. My uncle was dying. And my auntie thought that he was coming out of his coma situation. No. His body was just reacting to sound because he could still hear. His body still reacting to sound and light, even touch. So, again, we're claiming spirits and, 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 and the soul. What is it made out of? What, how does it function? What does it eat? How can it exist? What is a spirit? What is it made out of? What's the DNA? What's the molecular structure? What is it made out of? When we see our ancestors, we claim to see our mother, our deceased mother and father or whoever, they are always in the form of what you, what your brain remember. I saw my grandmama. She had a, she had a yellow blouse on, and she had a flower right there. Spirits don't need dress. Spirits don't need flowers. That's your brain, because you want to see your grandmother. That's your brain, because you want to see, see your cousin, or your dog Fluffy. Your brain will make those images for you in the manner that you remember. A spirit does not need clothes unless you're telling us there's a Walmart and a, a CVS and a McDonald's or whatever in the spirit realm. No, it's your brain because you kept thinking about your mother or your dog Scruffy and your brain made that image for you. I invite a spirit to come to my live stream anytime. If you can astral project, you bring your spirit self out of your body and you can come to the live stream and show us. Nobody has astral project to my live stream. Nobody has astral project in my brain or none, none of this stuff. We really need to let go of all these archaic, ancient, fairy tale belief systems. We'll be doing much better. Except reality, my friend, it's much easier. We're too, we're too old. We're adults. No more Santa Claus. 